Previously on Quest for the Upside Down Kingdom, the noble knight encountered a giant. Luckily, the giant was friendly and didn't eat him. In fact, the giant showed him the way to the Golden River and lent him a boat to use. While he was crossing the river, a storm went up and the knight became afraid. But using the phone the giant had given him, he called a mysterious voice and the voice calmed the storm. Renewed by faith in his quest, the knight crossed the river and continued on his way. The noble knight had been travelling for many days. He was in need of good food and some rest. He went in search of an inn where he could lay his head for the night. Eventually, he came across a hall full of music and voices with the delicious smells of food wafting out. And people. He entered into the hall, hoping to find what he needed. He saw two tables of people talking and being merry. He couldn't decide where to sit down. The first table was surrounded by people and it seemed almost like a party. The knights tentatively approached. Their table was laden with delicious food, ready to eat. A man was telling a story to the crowd around him. But then I saw them eat pork. I mean, seriously, who eats pork? Don't they know that it's bad for you? Really, if you want to be part of God's crowd, you have to have everything organic. It's either organic or bust. Oh, I know, you're so right, squealed one of his companions. And then they tried to get into the temple without bringing any offerings. Can you imagine? Only the best offerings get you into the temple. The crowd around him murmured in agreement. I don't like this. It's not right, Mary. The knight stood up, turning away from the crowd and looked to the only other table in the hall. There were just a few odd looking people seated around this table. They looked like the strangest group of odd sorts, almost like nobody wanted to be friends with them and they were listening to the story of a woman sitting at the table. So, I was in the village near Tyre the other day and I heard that the king was around. My daughter was still so sick and I didn't know what to do. I had tried everything and no one could help me. So I went to him and I asked him to heal her. It was scary. I thought someone might get angry if I approached him. The knight was curious. Who was this king the woman was talking about? The woman continued. And his followers did. They got so angry. They tried to make the king send me away. But I knelt down and cried, asking him for help. I said to him, even the dogs get the crumbs. Please help me. And then, you know what? He said to me, you have great faith. Your request is granted. And so I went home to find my daughter has been made well. She was no longer sick. Wow! The group around her exclaimed. Where is this king? Is he still here? Oh no, he continued on his journey. I think he went over the mountains to Philippi. It is many days away. I must continue on my quest and I'm, I might have a rest. First have some food. It was a gift to us and we want to share it, offered the woman. That evening, as the knight lay down his weary head to rest, his thoughts were filled with hope. The upside down king was getting closer and closer every day. He must continue to have faith in his quest. Where will he dream of going next? Be sure to tune in for the next instalment of Quest for the Upside Down Kingdom.